pathogenesis is very very important for leptospirosis exam point of view <clears throat> so it is a zoonotic disease uh, transmitted by rat if you go in contact with uh, water which is contaminated by the urine of such uh, rats or domestic animals the leptospires can enter the body through cuts or abrasion even through mucous membrane okay and this is the epidemiology we have already discussed now coming to the pathogenesis as such see there can be two forms of this disease a mild form and a severe form in severe form it is called as wheels disease please note this severe form is the one which is called as wheels disease okay now let us look at the pathology first what happens once the bacteria enters it will go into incubation 6 to 8 days you will not even know that you have been infected now after 3 to um, you know then the febrile illness will start this febrile illness will last just for 3 to 7 days at this time bacteria can show some positive uh, the bacteria could be positive in the blood so this is called a septicemic phase now what happens after these seven days of the illness of the fever the bacteria will leave the blood and they will enter these organs like liver kidney spleen etc this is when you can detect the bacteria can be detected in urine so based on this you will collect the samples correct is this clear so in the first the person is ill and if it is first week of illness you can collect the blood if it is after first week of illness you have to collect the urine now, in severe form it can exist uh, leptospirosis it is called as wheels disease in this case you will mainly see extra you will see ectris okay you will see jaundice in this person conjunctivitis etc okay Thank you.